hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video i will explain you how to create case report for support in salesforce so first let's understand what are these case report in salesforce so in salesforce cases are used to track support issues for example when a customer purchases a product or services and call for help from customer support the issue will be get tracked using a case record and in tracking the case the record is saved like the problem a solution provided or not and who provided the solution and the problem is solved or not and by creating a case report for the support the support team can analyze and track the cases of the organization and while working as a system admin for an organization i was asked to create a custom report on the cases of the customer support team so that they could track and manage the cases in a more efficient way and track the current situation of the cases so with the help of couple of example i am going to explain you the method by which i created case report for support in salesforce so first let me tell you that uh, creating a case report for support in salesforce is possible in both salesforce lightning as well as classic edition so first we will see the process of creating a case report for support in salesforce lightning so let's move ahead and see the process so now I have logged into my Salesforce developer account and right now I am on the home page of Salesforce Lightning and here you have to click on the reports tab which is here and in case you are not able to find this reports tab you can simply go to this app launcher and here search and select the reports and under the heading items click on this reports and the report setup window we have to click on this new report button to create a report so we have to select the report type for our report so we are going to create a report on the cases so we will select the report type as cases and then click on the button start report and in this report table we have to apply some filters to adjust the records according to our requirements and to apply filters go to this left hand sidebar and click on this filters tab and in the show me field i have selected all cases and open date also i have selected as all time and you can also customize this range as current year previous year previous to financial year so i have selected the range as current and previous financial year and then click on the apply button and units you can select uh, hours days and months so i will select the unit as hours only so now i have applied the filters now i will remove the column that i don't require and for that i will go to this outline tab and from here i will remove the columns and now we will add the case reason in this report which is the most important part of this report and for that i will go to this group section and here in the search box i will search for case reasons and then select it so now you can see this case reason is added as a group row so now you can see this case reason column is added as a group row so now our report is ready and now we can also add a chart for better visualization and for that you have to simply click on this add chart button so now the chart is also added and now we will save and run this report and for that click on this button save and run and in the report name field enter a relevant name to save this report i have saved this report as annual case status and the report unique name will be autofilled as we click on it and in the folder field we have to select the folder in which we have to save your report so i have selected the folder public reports to save this folder and at last click on the save button and as we click on the save button the report will be saved in the selected folder and it will run in the next window where we can see all the records of this report so here as you can see the case reason is in this column and rest of the records on the right hand side of it so this is how we create a case report for support in salesforce lightning so now we will move ahead and see the same process in salesforce classic edition so right now i have switched in the salesforce classic edition and here on the home page of salesforce classic click on this reports tab and in the reports and dashboard window click on this button new report to create a report so in this window we have to select the report type for our report so for that click on this customer support reports folder and in the drop down select cases and after selecting the report type click on this create button so first we will apply filters to this report and for that go to the filter section that is at the top and in the show me field make sure that you have selected all cases because sometimes by default it select my cases so make sure you have selected all cases 
and the units uh, i have selected hours and you can also select minutes and days and i have kept the date field as open date and range is all time and you can also customize the range field also according to your requirements and to view the records uh, first we need to change the show field and here i will remove the columns case owner and age because these are the fields that we required only subject and account name and open and close columns are also not required so i will remove them also and now to add a column as a group row we have to change the table format and for that click on this tabular format drop down and from the options select summary and then go to this left hand sidebar and here search and select case region and then drag this column to the region drop a file here to create a grouping so now you can see that case region is added as a group row and after adding this uh, case region column as a group row our report is ready and now we will click on the save button to save and run this report as we click on the save button we will see this window on the screen and here we will enter the details to save this report so i have entered the report name as case status report and the report unique name will be autofilled according to the entered report name and in the report folder section we have to select the folder to save this report i have selected the folder unfiled public reports and after this click on this save and run report button as we click on the button save and run report the report will be saved in the selected folder and it will run in the next window where you can see all the records of this report and here you can see that uh, records are grouped according to the case reasons so this is how we create a case report for support in salesforce classic and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye